No, I don't wanna. <gasps> Baby, just oh. another nightmare. It's okay, it's just a cutscene. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. You know, for this being low graphics, up, this handsome. looks really good. We're here. I don't even have optimal uh, screen setup yet. I have the wrong cords. I haven't had a desktop in a long time. It'll take some getting used to. Anyway, um, opening. Yay. Welcome to Bright Falls. I love this game. I've watched two people let's play it, and I've beaten it myself uh, twice. So I am sorry. I do know just about everything that's going to happen, but you know me, I'm not going to bullshit you. I enjoy the game, and I will probably do the sequel at some point. I didn't own it because I had trouble playing this on my laptop. So I wasn't sure I was going to be able to play it. It was acting a little hairy until I lowered Let's the resolution like on, on my new computer. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Oh, you. Hi. Hi, Hi old man. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. I like Deerfest house. is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You can see the town. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. She's I got hooker boots on. Way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't He's a cool I guy. I recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I, I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm yes. the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I wish there was a first-person view in this, is what I was getting ready to say. So how'd the photos come out? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. You took, like, 20 pictures. You made a friend. That's cute. Right. You suck. Yeah. Hey, Ben cool. Seller. How's my favorite writer? Verizon Hi, product placement? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say and Lincoln. the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just <laughs> settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Aww. You know he's going to be Bromance. calling every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? How you doing, Slick? What? Text message from Barry. That's kind of hateful. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. It's right there. We're we're we are at the car. We need to get back to the car. I couldn't be any more back to the car unless I was inside it. Oh. Well, there you go. We need to stop at the local diner to get the They should be more specific. A uh, Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up or you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. That sounds like a plan. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. No, seriously, I promise. Totally not gonna act like a prick to a bunch of people. There are still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Give the girl an autograph, you sanctimonious it. prick. I got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> right. So much for a quiet vacation. Oh, I examined it. Try the coffee. 
Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. I do Rusty like good coffee. here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Yeah, I'm real big on the coffee, seeing as I'm a writer. I'm a rich, famous person, you know. Do me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'm not fizzing I your shit. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone oh. to sleep. Bad circulation. Why are you yelling? Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is actually just more random tutorial stuff. But uh, I should. Don't you dance behind me. In the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. Record thingy. See, we learned how to interact with objects. And then. It does that get stuck? Yeah. You need to give it we a learned good how to interact work. with objects again. There now you go. that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. I like those two. Hey, what's up? Are you all right? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I it's think okay. I can handle it, ma'am. I've got elbow pads. I didn't pads. Want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. What a prick. Oh, here we go. Probably in the men's room, uh, Mr. Hello? Carl Stucky. Hi, ghosty. Mr. Stucky? You gonna save me from Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Creepy old battle axe. You don't look... She doesn't look nearly as imposing out of the cutscene. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. She looks downright homely. See, I didn't hurt myself. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Gotcha. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah. Even that sounds better than your singing. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Ew. Yeah. Splendid, splendid! It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Well, that was hey, Tom. You wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Well, there you go. The Andersons. They're uh local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mm, it's nice you guys to take care of him. That explains why he's having lunch here today. Bye, Mr. Wake. Uh-huh. Go to hell, fan. Mission Hi. accomplished. How you doing? The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, how convenient. Wait! Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! I had to poop really bad. He doesn't look so good. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here. I'm PBF Heaven. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. 
gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Yay! Natural flashlights. There's some atrocious music in this game. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. That's no, something, all right. Isn't? Looks Don't worry, decrepit. Honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Seems like it's at a weird angle to me. Probably just how I'm sitting. Hi, birdies. Well, it's overgrown and infested with flying rats. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm so glad we decided to come here, honey, instead of going to, like, I don't know, Acapulco or Hawaii or... Uh, we came to... to Trying to think of a good name for it. Peter Cheese, Arkansas. Yeah, that'll work. It's not Arkansas. I have nothing against people from Arkansas. Pick the lock. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. I had a key. You, you just put it's the key dark in the door. In there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. I'm an author, not an electrician, you bitch. Go away. Shoo. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. <laughs> Figures he's going to get some. Down there. The power cable goes to that shed over there. Logic and reasoning. What? It does go to this shed over here, though. Is there a door somewhere? An oh, old generator had been connected to the power cable. Actually, I believe the old power cable... No, the power cable had been connected to the old generator. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. And then he looked around a bit. While time passed. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. I didn't know how wrong I was. Little did I realize she planned to watch Grease for 48 hours straight. I like how you just bump into doors and they open. Alice? Honey? Eh. Eh. Huh, she doesn't have her hooker boots on. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. There's a lot of books for you to never heard of him before. Maybe you're just a dick. Ooh, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. There for achievements and nothing else, I think. But they are a shiny collectible, and I enjoy shiny collectibles. The radios can be interesting. The um, old door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. Oh, I see, because the door was open. The only issue is they take a really long time, and it's just me looking at the radio. The Deer Fest guests have already started to... As exhibited. ...just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can... It's we'll pretty, though. ...an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Well, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? Very I little. Know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him at the diner. Uh. So excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now some music. Great. So much for keeping a low 
profile. Okay. But, I don't know. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to listen to all of them or not, because there are other things that take up time that I also want to do. And it's not like the game's Alex, terribly short. I have a surprise for you. But there are doors. I have to look at them. There might be one we haven't seen yet. Oh, really? Oh, really? Last open door lied to Surprise! Me. Alice? You what is whore. This? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past... Damn, Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't He's want right to in front it. of you. God damn it, Alice! God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh, Alan. Alice? Alice? Why did you leave, Alan? It's a horror game. Alice! Never leave your significant other alone in a horror Alice! game. Alice! All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? I'm coming, you backstabbing whore. Ah! Alice, I'm coming! It's all right, I'm coming! No! Alice! What the hell? You will not deter me from my path, birdies. I'm on a mission. I'm so tired. Alice? Alice? Oh, that's not oh, good. No. Quick, Alan, do something stupid. 